Sleep apnea is a common disorder that affects about 5% of the world population. It is characterized by snoring and stopping breathing episodes at night. Most patients are treated with positive airway pressure or PAP and do well with it. However, 20% of patients do not do well with CPAP and look for other alternatives. These patients may have trouble with claustrophobia, mask fit, or frankly may not feel rested with the CPAP. In these patients, surgery is offered. When looking at sleep apnea, the surgical strategies are dealing with relatively big furniture in a small room. And so the strategies are either to make the rooms bigger or make the furniture smaller. Sometimes limited surgery is done to make CPAP work better, such as surgery to fix a deviated septum in the nose or shrink down the turbinates on the side wall of the nose. Many times this can allow a CPAP user to be successful or may allow them to change from a face mask to a nose mask. When CPAP is still not effective, at times curative surgeries are done to make sleep apnea better. These involve taking out the tonsils, trimming off the uvula in the back of the throat called uvula pautopharyngoplasty. Nasal surgery is often done at the same time. Radio frequency is often used to shrink down the back of the tongue. And this surgery has a relatively good success rate of helping people reduce their snoring and make their sleep apnea better. Recently, new advances in surgery have allowed the robot to be used to treat the back of the tongue in sleep apnea. In this situation, the robot is used to trim off the tongue tonsils in the back of the tongue or lingual tonsils, and this is often done with UPPP or uvulopatopharyngoplasty at the same time. This new procedure does offer better success rates, but also has more pain involved, and so aggressive pain management after surgery is needed to include the use of anti-inflammatories, steroids, oral narcotics, and at time, narcotic patches. Patients after sleep surgery are recommended to have a repeat or post-op sleep study to ensure that their sleep apnea is corrected all the way. If not, further surgery, dental appliances, or CPAP may be considered to help patients have a long and healthy life.